For decades, it was the place everyone wanted to be. Used to be flourishing with people. Now it's a place they can't escape. It's an eyesore. It sends a message that this area is not cared for. Contact Denver 7 Investigates Jacqueline Allen reports tonight from 88th and Washington. A stretch of Thornton in such disrepair, it is actually toxic. Has it contaminated the soil? Yes. Has it contaminated the water? Yes. It's 16 acres, it's prime location. In the shadow of downtown Denver. It's an eyesore. A shopping center in the shadows. This is somebody's bed. The secret that lies beneath. I see a health and safety crisis. Has left this prime location. Hello? Tainted. Is anyone here? We have to do something. Could you use eminent domain? Yes, we can. I want to see actions and not just words. I purchased my home in this area because I love the community. Digging is what Eleanor Burns does for vegetables in her backyard garden and for answers about the soil they're in. Is it in the, the water that's being soaked up by the, the vegetables? Is it in the soil that the kids are playing in? A half mile from her home, at the corner of 88th and Washington. Doesn't look great. No, it does not. She and neighbor Kathy Henson give us a tour of Thornton's oldest shopping center. So this is after the repair. Yeah. There's roof damage, there's water damage. The windows are broken, trash everywhere. Built in the 1950s, they say it's not just run down, it's dangerous. Literally taped over and then they painted over the tape. Yes, to call it a Band-Aid is an insult to Band-Aids. But it's what you can't see that worries them most. The ground under the daycare is contaminated. Yeah. The contamination happened decades ago. Records show a dry cleaner released a potentially cancer-causing chemical called PCE into the earth. CDPHE documents show the solvents spread southeast and now contaminate soil and groundwater in the nearby neighborhood. The state has been trying to get the property owner, Jay Brown, to clean up an environmental mess for the last 15 years. Governor Jared Polis even getting involved with this letter to Brown stating, you are the responsible party for cleaning up these toxic chemicals. At the tone, please record your message. So we reached out to Brown, who lives near Chicago. Hi, Jay, this is Jacqueline Allen. I'm a reporter with Contact Denver 7. He refused to speak to us, but in an email says he spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to begin cleanup, and the property, quote, has drained available resources and put me deep in debt. The property owner at Thornton Shopping Center is a slumlord. People who live here are tired of excuses, coming together to start a change.org petition with hundreds of signatures, demanding action from the city of Thornton. What's taking so long? It's not the kind of thing that happens overnight. This is private property. John Cody, Thornton's director of economic development, says developers weren't interested. The property owner wanted too much. The city had to actually create commercial property maintenance code to hold the Thornton Shopping Center accountable. One inspection this year lists more than 100 violations. Now they're taking Brown to court. We have spent a lot of time staff resources, money. The city's also moving forward with more aggressive action, setting aside $7 million to pay for cleanup, but first, they want the land. Could you use eminent domain? Yes, we can. We are not giving up. We are going to fix this problem. It just takes longer than anybody, including the city, wants it to take. Business owners at the shopping center, though, are worried. If they're forced to move, they'll have no place to go. The sadness is that we're going to lose a building of businesses that we could have had here for many years to come. It shouldn't take 15 years to hold somebody responsible for derelict buildings. Neighbors, though, relieved. Change is coming at last. This 16 acres may someday come out of the shadows, no longer tainted. Our job as residents is to keep the pressure on. In Thornton, for Contact Denver 7, I'm Jacqueline Allen.